like that. Melvin put on a good amount of percent. A pretty, pretty good start. So much damage. Right. Send you with the banana. That's that's pretty much as good as the bell. Oh, that's awesome. The the uh, Diddy up B one shot the um, the hydrant. Don't know how much practical application that has, but they're both in kill percent range, kind of looking for the same thing. It's like, I hit you with Bell, I get a smash attack. I hit you with Banana, I get a smash attack. Oh, the water push made him fall out of up smash. That's unfortunate. Melvin really has to fight his way in. Sinji's Sin just gonna put uh, Hydrant in between them, Hydrant and Trampoline, and get to pick his like fruit of choice. Banana, pass smash, yep. Banana in hand again for Sinji. I was kind of expecting a down throw to cover roll. Up smash gonna take it. Actually, I wonder what's that. <laughs> The extra height from the hydrant actually affected anything. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what Diddy's answer to, like, the Hydrant being between... Hydrant slash Trampoline being between them. He wants to do banana things, but he has to, like, almost use banana from hand. He can't throw it from across stage and cause pressure. Banana backfire is so rough. Yeah, usually when you play Diddy, like when you have banana, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. You're the, you're the master of items. It's pretty hard to get the Pac-Man that wants to use that banana just as much as you do. Banana is just another bell.
Yeah, I'll catch him with the back here off the second recovery. Spike, not gonna do it. That was, that was good on him. He threw the banana back at ledge and got the neutral get up F smash. Let's see if he got some tricks left in the bag. Oh, he got the I like that. He needs to do a bit more of that. He needs to uh, bait responses from Pac Man by pulling banana and running away from it. He's been getting caught a bit too much on like the immediate banana grabs. He's been getting a good good amount of mileage off of just pulling banana and see and like responding to like what the punish should be. Sinji got banana in hand. That's pretty crazy that Pac-Man can throw his own item and still have banana in hand. Obviously, they're two different things, but that's still pretty funny. A lot of power for one little yellow boy. All right. Oh, that was actually really funny. The, normally you would expect the water to push uh, Pac-Man's grab range and make you grab, but uh, the Diddy Command grab worked better. Oh, he monkey flipped into the apple. He had the standing apple bouncing. It's mad funny. Right. Yeah, that's a relatively close game. Nelvin just needs to find the stock before he takes too much damage. Yo, that bouncing apple is putting in work. That's normally like the setup for like uh, Pac-Man back throw into the apple that's bouncing. How many down tilts does it take to get to the center of one hydrant? Oh, snap. Wait, maybe if it's airborne? But Banana definitely doesn't get pushed by hydrant when it's on the floor. I guess it would push it if it was airborne though. Like, now that I think about it, I don't know if fruit gets pushed when it's on the floor. I feel like it does. All right, yo, 50%. That's, 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 that's a lot of, not, not a whole lot for Nelvin to make up. Let's see if he can make something happen. Okay. That banana pushing him off stage is actually a good bit, a uh, bit of good luck. So he didn't get F smashed by like the hydrant propel Pac-Man. He needs to really avoid the. Oh, dude, him having banana and you being wary of banana could tend to forget what fruit he's holding. There's still like one or two conversions, and Nelvin's right in there, like. I think this is still very scary for Sinji. Sinji with the key on deck. Let's see what happens. Hydrant's one shotable by key. Oh. That's... Yo, that Nair trading with Hydrant's mad good. He didn't have to wait out the pressure. The key. Key, the key, the key.
Melvin Monkey flipped high one too many times, and he was ready to hit it that time. The Hydrant, nah, Nelvin's still here. 166, a lot of percent, but it's also a lot of rage. I think, I think at ledge, Banana F Smash will take it. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. It was a good attempt to hit the like cross stage banana. Crowds at the edge of their seats. Who's gonna hit the the item into Smash Attack confirm? Up smash? Oh, oh the DI! Oh yo, that actually I think that changed the direction after DI because it literally pushed Diddy past. Yo, how the hell did that hit? He got pushed past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It hit because he entered down, down, circle, circle, right, the cheat code. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was wild. Yo. Sakurai, please. What the hell? All right, yo. We're 1-1. One, one. This is still semi, so this is the best of three. That that was that was Nelvin hanging on to a prayer at like 170 percent. Yo, Sinji's like, yo, we got combos. Yo, I like that flip. You see the Galaga coming? You you know like your distance. You know you're gonna be above it. What the hell just made? What just happened? Oh oh, I think he actually matched out. Okay, I matched. Must have been insane. F Smash. He was actually just barely low enough for F Smash to connect. Like, had he been a little higher in the air. Oh, what the hell? Yo, Hydrant plus Monkey Flip. Weird interactions. Banana Pole dropping at ledge. I like the idea. You, get, you always gotta go for that. Like, make sure your opponent's aware. Otherwise, you're just giving up free kills. Yo, what's up, Birch? Yeah, that banana is, it gives and takes away. Sinji turned up. That, yeah, nah, that's so rough. Like, your main tool, your banana, is just like, 